understand the basic structure of the speech. But we already know that Aditi is one of the proactive and hyperactive, uh, you know, the member at opposite of the club. Uh, she is gonna, uh, but but yeah, we need to understand uh, more than what we are, what we actually you know seen so far. So she is going to speak to the garden uh, more than what we see or more than what you can see. All the best. So to, to continue with Santosh about Toastmaster Aditi, she has been knocking on the stage and also online. <laughs> she's, a, she's known as Angel of Toastmaster, a very Toastmaster, you know. A beauty with brain. Today she is going to give icebreaker speech. The title is More Than You Can See. Please welcome Toastmaster Aditi. I only came to realize that when I moved to Bangalore that these people speak in textbook language. 
much. <laughs> and I slowly learned and being after being mocked by my friends and I slowly learned and somehow I'm here today. I can definitely speak better Kannada than most people. I can vouch for that. So that is one, one more accomplishment. Now an ideal icebreaker is supposed to end or have why or how I joined Toastmasters. In college, in degree, I was always the life of the group. But you put me on a stand. No way I would open up. I actually had one incident. I my uncle, it was a it was a family gathering in fact. Very few close friends and family. <coughs> He said, oh, come talk about your dreams. I, in my head, I was very clear. I have three dreams. Buy all the pretty clothes in life. <laughs> Go settle in some island with my parents. And I thought, have a luxurious car someday. In my mind, I was very clear. And I came on the stage and I said, I'm sorry, I cannot talk. And I just walked away. So when I told my father that I want to do an Excel course, he said, shut up. He said, go do some, uh, you know, soft skills, training or, you know, something like that. It will at least be helpful. So Toastmasters happened because of a man who walked into our lives 10 years back. He was, my aunt married him. His name is Pramoda. And that's how I got to know about Toastmasters. How to see him give brilliant speeches day after day, week after week, and I'd be like, how? So now, I'm still trying to figure out how, and uh, this, I've taken this first step to becoming that person that I used to look up to. And I hope I will be someday more than you can see. Back to you.